All right, what's good, YouTube? So I was on Amazon the other day, and I found this uh, air filter that looked exactly like a can in but you didn't have to put oil on it. So you know I'm kind of skeptical of this kind of stuff, so we're going to test it out. I ordered it. I got it on the ground over here in the box. We're going to pull out the box, check it out, install it, and see how long will it last. So let's see what the deal is with this thing. All right, so here it is right here, AEM dry flow air filter, uh, wash and reuse, non-oil, lifetime warranty. So my thinking is it should last forever, right? So as long as we take care of it, it should last for years and years and years um, if it works like it says it's supposed to. And you can see it said right there, you don't have to use oil on it. It says everywhere, no oil, no oil. Uh, here's the makes and models it fits for this particular filter. I'll post links in the description where y'all can find it down on Amazon um, where I found it. But yeah, you can see synthetic filter material, no oil required. All right, let's check it out. All right, so yeah, it looks just like a K&N, but it's dry. That is really weird. So it's got a nice little lip on it there, and it looks just like a K&N, but it's dry. So we're gonna get it installed and see, maybe there's a sound before and after, I don't know. We're gonna see if there's a sound before and after, uh, miles per gallon, you know, we're gonna have to post an update to this and see what the deal is, but I got most of the screws out. We're gonna get the rest of them out and get it installed here. Um, I'm gonna get y'all a quick before and after on the sound first though. Uh, all right, well, here's the old filter. Yeah. We're going to have to do a little cleaning first. Alright, so basically the thing is with this, when it gets dirty, you just take it and put it in a bucket or whatever and just hose it off and then just blow some air through it and it should be good. So it should last a long, long time, but we're going to find out um, how long this thing will last. So. All right, so I got it in here. It's good. It's got a good seal to it. So I want to stop and talk about air filters for two seconds. So here's a regular pleated paper filter. People say these filter the best, but you got to run out and buy a new one all the time, you know, 20, 000, every 20,000 miles or whatever the recommendation is. So that's not fun or cheap to maintain. Uh, this filter at the time of filming this was like 40 bucks. So um, 
you got the wet K&N type ones, and those require special cleaner, special oil. Um, you know, it's not as fun or easy to maintain, and it can gum up the mass airflow sensor, those tiny little wires in there. I've heard of uh, problems with that if you put too much oil or whatever. I didn't want to deal with that, so I found this dry flow one, and basically it filters just as good as all the other ones, but you don't have to put oil on it. I guess it's got more layers, special layers, whatever. However, you know, it works. It works. So um, to clean this, you just pop it out, hose it off with soap and water, and you're good. So dry it, you know, you're good. Reinstall it. So that's way easier because, you know, if you're changing your oil or whatever, pop it out, wash it off, you know, dry it, you're good. Um, I think people would maintain that more than, you know, this one or a wet type because it's so easy you just pop it out wash it off dry it off reinstall it so that's that's the beauty of this one so i'm gonna get it back together here uh one more thing on these trucks uh this is a uh, you know 2001 to 2007 uh chevy silverado 4.3 4.6 4.8 you know these types of motors um the best combination I've heard of for filters is to get this dry style air filter um, and then they make an aftermarket uh, tube here that's not as restricted and it's just a, a straight shot. That's on the forums and everywhere I've ever seen. You know, this thing goes way down in there. That's the best combination I've ever found. You know, people said is this and then that special air tube. Well, I don't have the air tube, so we're just going to try the air filter for now and see what the dealio is. Well, it sounds exactly the same. I can hear it sucking a little bit on the engine side up there. But other than that, it sounds exactly the same. I wonder what the uh, miles per gallon loss or gain. I'd imagine it gain. I don't see why to lose any miles per gallon, but we'll see. All right, y'all, so that's it for the video. Make sure to drop me a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to comment and let me know, you know, if y'all have ever used one of these dry flow air filters, what the deal is with them, because uh, I never used one before. And you can't get them at big box stores, you know. You would think they would sell them right next to the paper air filters and the K&Ns, but I guess they want you to buy the special cleaner and oil and all that, and nobody has time for all that. So uh, I'll post links down in the description where you can get one of these dry flow air filters on Amazon. That's where I picked it up from. So check out those links. Um, the thing should last forever, right? Because it's just an air filter. It's not like mechanical, you know, it just has air flowing through it. So we're going to see, um, you know, on a checkup follow-up vid. So make sure to subscribe down below for that because y'all aren't going to want to miss out on that once I put it through his paces. But 
For now, y'all, I'm out. Peace.